Hey all, so in this video we are going to see about how to convert your Google form into a PDF format. Okay, so usually uh, we will type our question papers in MS Word and we'll convert it into Google um, in PDF. Suppose if you have prepared your question paper in Google form and if you want to uh, make it as a printed format like in PDF form or in Word form, you can do using these setups which I'm going to show now. Okay, for that first you have to go to drive.google.com where your um, form has been saved, Google form has been saved. Okay, now in my previous video I have explained how to create a Google form. Okay, so if you want you can watch that. Now you can open the form which you have already done. So this is the Google form which I have already made and now I am going to convert this into a PDF format. Okay, so that I can print that question paper and give to my students and even for my purpose I can have it as a PDF form. Okay, so now you can see I have a few um, a set of questions. Okay, with the points noted down. Okay, so here I have like um, MCQs and then I have true or false. Then I have application based questions. So now we are going to convert this into PDF form. Okay, so for this first you have to go to the three dots which is present over the right side top corner. Click on that. Now from the drop down list select print option. Okay, anyway we are not going to print. So we'll just click on print option. You will get a dialog box, print dialog box. Okay, so now you can see at the right side we have some settings. So here the destination you have to click, uh, you will get a drop down list. Here we have a few options. Okay, uh, the first one is Microsoft print to PDF, then save as PDF. So here as we are going to convert this in a PDF form, we have to click on save as PDF. Okay, now pages. So whichever pages you want to convert as a PDF form, you can do, or if you want to convert the whole question paper in PDF form, you can select all. Then layout, always portrait um, is yeah, better. Then uh, we have paper size that is A4, and then pages per sheet, it is one, then margins, then header and footer. Okay, if you notice here, we are getting the date and the name of the form at the top. And at the bottom, the link for the Google form is coming. Okay, so if you don't want that, you can, you can remove this header and footers so that those dates, name of the form, and the bottom link which is given for the Google form will be removed. Okay, and if you want, you can add it. So these are all the basic settings. And the left side, we are having the preview of the question paper. You can scroll down and, and you can check all the pages. Okay, and you can see it is coming as a uh, new question paper set itself okay and uh, one more thing here is the numbers will be added automatically to all the questions so if you check my google form i didn't give any number for any question no i didn't give serial number for any question but here it is being added automatically okay so that is the only uh, thing here so we can check all the pages okay now it is coming along with the page number. If you add header and footer, it will come along with the page number. So now I'm just going to click on save. It is being saved. It will take a moment as it is being converting the Google form into PDF format. It's been done and it is asking where you are going to save it in your computer. So it is there in the desktop. I'm just clicking on desktop and save. So that's it. Your Google form has been saved as a PDF format. Now let me show you. So yes, here it is class 8 computer science Google forms. I'm just opening it. You can see the logo itself showing it as a PDF file. Yes, here's the file PDF format. Okay. And the only drawback of this is we will not get this uh, form along with the answer key. Though we have entered the answer key in the Google form, we will not get it. Okay. Suppose if you want to make it, you can make a copy of the same and you can go here. I just opened this in Microsoft Edge. Okay. So just um, go here to the draw button. Okay. So if you click in this, We'll get a set of colors, okay? And you can increase the thickness or decrease the thickness, okay? Select any color. 
and you can mark the answers manually in the answer sheet. I mean, question paper itself. Okay. So first page is having the personal details of the students. So I'm just leaving it from second page. You can start marking the answers, but this you have to do it manually. Okay. Uh, I'm just making a, a mark over here. And then for the next question, it is something else. I'm not reading the question. I'm just marking it so that when you are printing it, you will get the answer printed along with this. Okay. So this is how you can mark the answers in the question paper. But uh, you cannot uh, make the Google form to print your answers along with the question paper. Okay. And finally, you have to save it. A new form will be saved. Okay. So before that, you have to make a copy of it that I didn't done. So that's it. So if I open this, I can see the question paper along with the answers I have marked because I didn't make any changes. I didn't make a copy of the original file. And here is the question paper. See, I made along with that. If you want, you can make it or you can uh, simply leave this as a question paper as a printable form. Okay, and if you want both a simple question paper and along with the answer key, you have to make a copy of the question paper, the PDF form. Then in the duplicate form, you can rename that as an answer key and you can do this. Okay, thank you all.